Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, before I get started, I just wanna thank my subscribers. Uh, at the beginning of the year, I set a goal to uh, hit 500 subscribers by July, and we just passed 500 subscribers two months early, so I'm pretty psyched about that, and I just wanted to thank you for your support. Now today, I wanna talk about five tricks in After Effects that will speed up your workflow and save you from headaches, so let's jump into it. All right, so the first uh, trick I wanna share with you is transforming paths. Now, you know you can grab the different little uh, points on your path and move them around and keyframe them, but did you know that you can select all of them and double click or hit Control T and you can transform them, scale them up, rotate them, move them that way. And what's really awesome about this is it doesn't have to be all of them. You can just select a section and transform and scale that section. So this really comes in handy when making illustrations or setting up a joysticks and sliders rig or all kinds of different applications. Um, hopefully it's not gonna take you as long to discover this and utilize this in your After Effects workflow as it did for me. All right, so the next trick has to do with pre-comps. Now, if you're like me, oftentimes you have a composition that has a bunch of pre-comps in it, and maybe you're trying to select a layer underneath a bunch of pre-comps, but you keep selecting that uh, composition on top, and so it gets kind of annoying. Now, you can fix this by going into that composition and taking your region of interest tool, selecting the area around whatever is inside this composition, and then going up to composition and crop to area of interest. And this will shrink your composition down to the size of that graphic. And therefore, when you go back into your original composition, your compositions are much smaller, making it easier to select different layers on the composition. So hopefully you find that one useful. Okay, so this next trick is the preserve transparency little dongle switch down here. And this is another one that I wish I would have known earlier, but basically it's like a clipping mask. If you are familiar with Photoshop, um, it only reveals, so whatever layers are below it determine which part of this layer will be revealed in the final composition. So it's a, there's a lot of really good uses for this and hopefully uh, you can find some new ways to use this. And there you go. Let's go on to the next trick. Okay, moving on to the next trick. Uh, this one has to do with keyframe velocity. Now, um, a really easy way to illustrate this trick is in the animation of an object bouncing. So we know that as an object bounces, it kind of slows down in its velocity at the highest point. Um, however, in After Effects, if you just try to ease this keyframe, it'll actually, it will slow down at that highest point, but then it will stop at that keyframe and then it will keep moving. And we don't want that. We want a nice fluid motion. So one way to fix this is to right click on that keyframe and go to keyframe velocity. Then a little window will pop up and on this window there's a little checkbox with the word continuous next to it. Now if you check that box, what will happen is now if you go into the graph editor, you can grab that keyframe and you can move it up so that the velocity does not go back down to zero. So on this sidebar here, this is how many pixels your object is moving per second. So if you move this up, that means the bottom line is zero pixels per second. And then if you move that up, that means that it's gonna be moving at whatever you set it at. So there you go. And then if we just move that up, then we can see that the ball bounces more naturally. Now, this is obviously not the only use for this trick, but this is just a really easy way to illustrate uh, how this works, but there's lots of uses and I use continuous uh, velocity all the time in my animations Okay, so my last trick has to do with snapping now by default You probably have snap to grid turned on and snap to guides turned on But have you used these two little buttons here at the top now if you turn these on you can now snap uh, different shapes together so if you want to align a a rectangle shape to another rectangle shape or to any other shape this helps you to snap those together and to align things properly so uh, take advantage of these and instead of eyeballing it or having to zoom really far in this will help you to get more accurate alignment with your shapes okay that's it for the five tricks I wanted to share today hopefully you learned something new and you learned something that can improve your workflow inside of After Effects um, if you found that this video was helpful hit that like button and uh, if you want more videos like this, please consider subscribing. It really does help. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.